Okay, now let's check this. Uh, this is question number six, which is uh, exponential and inverse. Okay, uh, from the same paper, uh, 2023 September 5th date. Okay, now um, we are going to answer these questions. Okay, now let's check. Number one, uh, we will read the statement that is obvious. And I hope now you know it. In the diagram shows the graph of F. We are not given A and G the reflection of f in the y-axis so they reflected in the y-axis and then it came the other side okay and b lies on f the two intersect at t calculate the coordinate of t t is the y-intercept so for me to find the y-intercept number one i would have to say um, f at x is equal to a exponent um, x okay hence this is a y intercept a y intercept where we let um, x equals to zero okay hence we know that y is equals to a exponent zero y is equals to one okay therefore the coordinate of t is given by uh, zero is to one okay that is the coordinate of t then the set number two um, therefore calculate the value of a that's value of a okay so you will have to use the coordinate you are given which is b b is three maps with three um three over eight okay now let's continue we are substituting this point we have y is equal to a exponent x on y we have this three um eight times three what is eight times three we know that is eight sixteen twenty four twenty four plus three is twenty seven so this will be twenty seven over eight is equals to a exponent three okay now let's check this then i will always teach my learners this that you say um, equals to, then you say AC, you say shift, um, okay, okay, sorry, you say, oh, 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 oh. you say um, shift, and then you say three, then this will be uh, three over eight, you said this is 27 over eight, as I've just shown you here, then you say uh, shift uh, fat, oh, sorry, you said um, 27 equals 2, then you say shift, then you say fat. That is 3 cubed, and this is 2 cubed. So this will be 3 over 2, all cubed, is equals to A all cubed. Therefore, A should be equals to 3 over 2. That is how we find our A, okay? so that's how you find our a then let's continue with the equation okay then the question continue and say determine the equation of g g remember what did they say they said g is a reflection about the y-axis if it's a reflection about the y-axis you know that it is y is equals to f into negative x this is a reflection about the y-axis in the reflection about the y-axis x changes okay so we know that this is g at x is equals to we know we have this one okay so you will have um three over two all raised to negative x which can be equals to um two over three exponent x that is your g at x i hope you have got me well this uh, show that it's a reflection across the y-axis since x changes okay so in this in that equation uh, where i insert this as my a i changed my x to be negative okay now let's continue uh, now they say write down the inverse of f wait f at x we know f at x to be 3 over 2 all exponent x. So they say find the inverse. The inverse here, you interchange. You have y is equals to 3 over 2 
on exponent x then you interchange x and y you will have x is equals to 3 over 2 on exponent y then you go for log okay the shorter method for log you go for it it says what if i have a exponent y equals to x this will be y is equals to log of base a then x okay so this is a shorter method to do your your your, your thing is okay let's do it here so i'll have um uh, y of negative one is equals to log of base three over two exponent x that is my inverse okay then the last question for which values of x will the inverse be less than uh, one less or equals to one so i take this i say log of three over two x it is less or equals to one okay every time when i have this i will use a nike method this will go to be my base and this will be my exponent to be left with this okay let's repeat again this will be my base and this will be my exponent this side i'll be left with this x okay hence i'll have x it's less or equals to um what three over two on exponent one hence x is less or equals to three over two that is how we do uh, or we deal with what with our exponents or this question make sure you subscribe once more